Hey cute people, it's me finally here to do a video. I know it's been a very long time. A very, very, very long time. I've been here in North Carolina now for what, about hmm, a year and a half. For August this year, 2017, it'll be two years that I've been here. And I think I've only made three, four, no more than five videos. But anyway, I wanted to make this video and I was so excited because I was like, today is the day. Now, there's been other attempts to make a video. They never came through. But I said, today is the day because I don't get started. I don't know when I'll ever get a chance to put up a video. So today is the day and here I am. My lighting is a little bit better because I mentioned to you before, my mother's house to me is dark. In the daytime, it's a lot of sunlight. But at night, it's really dark. She has a lot of dark colors around. But um, I think I may be a little too light, so I'll work on that um, the next time. But if I don't make this video now and call myself working on it, it'll be another four or five months before I make a video. But this video here, I wanted to talk about my North Carolina life. Because it's very much different from the life I had in New York. I don't want to, um, well, let me just be honest and say, I am, you know, you have people who can be racist. Sexist. I'm a statist. I'm not gonna lie. New York City to me is the best city in the whole wild world. I said wild world, but it's the whole wide world. It is the best city. I don't care where you are, where you live. New York City is about the best. There is some of everything to do. You don't have to travel far to get too many places that you want to go. You can wake up on a Saturday afternoon, Saturday morning. Say, oh, I want to go to a museum. You just hop on a bus, hop on a train. Depending on where you live, you can walk there. Now, that could be true for some people that live here in North Carolina, but for others like myself, there's a museum that I want to go to. I can't think of the name of it now, but it has to do with civil rights. It's not far from where I am, but I have to drive there. I can't get on the bus. I can't get on the train. So to get there, maybe take me about two hours to drive there. You go there and spend, what, maybe an hour or two in the museum, get back in your car and drive two hours home. I don't know where the, the zoo is at if you have children. I don't think that's close to where I live. Um, if you want to go to the beach, that's about an hour. Put it this way. There's nothing, like, right around where I live. I guess you probably have to live in, um, like, Charlotte, Raleigh, Durham area to have access to a lot of cultural things, a lot of um, activities and such. They have things going on here, but they're so far in between. But it's not like I went to a lot of places in New York, but I had options. Here, I don't have as many options. There are some options and there are things that go on, but not pretty much of anything that I'm interested in. So that's one thing I don't like. My mother was telling me, she said, well, you it's not like you were all over New York City anyway. True, but I had options. Here, I don't. And shopping? Hmm. I just miss the ease of New York. Being able to just say today, tomorrow, I just want to get on a train and go somewhere. Let's say, for instance, you're in Manhattan on 34th Street. They don't have what you want on 34th Street. You walk on down to 23rd Street. You walk up to the Manhattan Mall. They don't have what you want. You can go to 86th Street. There's just so many places to go. You can get there in such a short amount of time. Like here, you can do that too, but you have to be in a car. If you, you're in New Bern and you don't see anything you want, if you want to go to another town, I don't know where the nearest shopping town would be if you're going north, but going south, that would be Jacksonville, and that's like another 40 minutes in the car, maybe. But there are a lot of stores down here that I weren't able to get to in New York, such as Ulta. Um, what other stores? Um, Target. And there was a Target in the Bronx, but, you know, if you want to bring home a lot of stuff or um, you don't have a car and you want to bring home big stuff, it's kind of cumbersome to try to get on the train with a big old trunk if that's what you purchase, you know, just saying. But um, Target, Walmart, of course, we go to Walmart at least two, three times out of the month. That's like the highlight of my day, going to Walmart or even just going to New Bern, you know, whether it's Walmart, um, food, food Lion, or wherever we may go. That's like the highlight for me because that's pretty much what we do. I don't really get a chance or really 
And I, I shouldn't say I don't get a chance. I just do not go out visiting people and stuff like that because I really don't know a lot of people down here. I know my immediate family, of course, which is which is my mother, my nephew, his children, um, their mother, um, and I know my first cousin, and of course my aunt. I have some other first cousins that I know too that I can visit too, but it's not like I know a lot of people that I can go visit and hang out with. Besides, it doesn't seem like anybody really does anything down here. Um, what else can I say about my North Carolina life? Like I said, there's only one pro, and it's being their family. There's so many cons. And again, like I mentioned before, I am definitely a status. Um, if I had a chance to get back to New York City, I would move in a heartbeat. The beat of the heart would be so fast. <laughs> I'd be going so fast. But I'm making do with it down here. I think maybe when I get my own place, I'll feel a little bit more at home. Because, you know, no matter who you live with, if you've always had your own and then you go move with someone else, you try to conform to how they live. At least I do because that's their house. So you don't do many things that you would like to do or um you can't do things like you used to do. So maybe I'll feel a little bit more at home. And maybe even when I get my own car, I can move and shake and get about. Whether it's just going in to New Bern to just get out of the house or go to Jacksonville. Because I can't think of anything else to do around in this area here. I, they do have some kind of museums. I'll have to get back to you on it. And they do have like um some places I've seen like historical markers of things that, you know, may have happened in... Um, 1776 or whatever. So I always think that I would, you know, go into, I guess they would call it, um, well, it is New Bern, but I'm going to call it like the historic part of New Bern. You know, you can see uh, where they have little markers. You can see things that had gone on, like I said, around 1776 or whatever, you know. But it's really a quiet place. It's really a quiet place. It's really a quiet place place it's a rural town it's getting bigger like when i used to come down here for summers um houses weren't so close together like they are now like um it's not as close as if you lived in queens of course you still have some land between but um it's not like it was when i was younger but i have to say you know um it's really not Bad. I'm getting used to it, and because it, you know, yeah, it's not bad. I can say it's not bad. What else can I really say? Because I'm here and I'm in it. I don't know if and when my situation will change to ever get me back to New York. If that's the case, so here I am, and I'm just gonna make do with where I am for as long as I can. But um. My move here wasn't um, too bad. I left all my stuff in New York. I just put it in storage so eventually I have to get back to New York and um, get my stuff. Um, I want to do a little bit more traveling to some relatives that I have in this area. Like my granddaughters live in, oh goodness, I always forget, Greensboro. I always get Greensboro, Greenville, and Goldsboro mixed up, but I think they're in Greensboro, so it's not very far. So once I get myself a little situated, I want to, you know, go and visit. But my um cousin, she has a um daughter and a son who play sports. They're in college, they play sports. I think I mentioned to you, I've been to um several colleges here in North Carolina, several areas with her, you know, visiting. So I did like that because I got out of the house and I got to see a little bit more of North Carolina. I can't remember each and every town that we've been in, but I know I went to Wilmington for a track meet. So I did do that. And um, like I said, we go to Jacksonville every now and then, but New Bern often. That's the highlight of my month. Like today is Wednesday. So tomorrow I'm off. I'm supposed to be going into New Bern, and, and already I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. So I'll probably try to get into Target because even when I lived in New York, I think I've been to Target maybe twice. And since I've been here, I've been twice. I want to go again and really, you know, look around, get around. And besides, I saw some jewelry that I want on clearance. But my North Carolina life really is boring. 
um, quiet. It's nice. Um, when it gets hot down here, I don't like that because it gets hot down here. But when the weather is nice, like um, the last couple of days, it's beautiful and I love it. So I really like that. I like to go sit outside. But one thing I need to do, and I said I was going to do, and my doctor wants me to do, is start walking. And another thing, let me tell you, since I've been down here, look at this fat face. I gained some weight. Do you hear me? I don't know how much. I don't want to get on the scale. All I know is I got to get rid of it soon, real soon. Oh, my goodness. Like, um, since I've been here, we buy a lot of things that I normally would not eat. Like, when I was in New York, I didn't buy cakes and pastries and stuff like that. I didn't buy chips. I didn't drink soda. Um, I ate more fruits and vegetables. Here at my mother's house, we always have potato chips, skins, yes, and, and crackling, fat back, bacon, eggs, um, a lot of food that I don't eat. I never, like I said, when I was in New York, I didn't eat a lot of processed food. I eat a lot of that here. Um, and I like it. And I do enjoy it. But once I'm over here, Um, sodas, I drink them by the, well, I wouldn't say by the caseload, but it needs to be because I drink a lot of soda. I, like I said, I don't know how much I weigh. I know the last time I went to the doctor, I have went down to like maybe 194 from about 200, even, yes. And I almost hit the floor, you hear me? I almost hit the floor. And as you can see right now, me not even showing much, you can see, um, I'm turning into a big girl. And nothing wrong with being a big girl. But ain't nothing right with it either. I'm sorry. And um, I just, I don't wear it well. So you know, I gotta get it off. So I need to start walking. I think when my doctor mentioned to me about walking, but walking is because I'm pretty much sedentary. I don't move around an awful lot, especially in my job. I sit, so that's even worse. So I was supposed to be walking to try to build up my lungs because I have PE, pulmonary embolism. That will do that another time. But um, she thought that would help me strengthen my lungs. And um, she wanted me to walk like 30 minutes each time that I walk. She didn't say how many times a week. But she didn't want me to, she said, <laughs> not just walking in the supermarket or in the mall, actually on your block, walking around, getting around, getting my heart rate up. I haven't started yet, but I need to. And that's where you guys come in handy, because I'll take you guys along with me. There's not much to see, but at least um, in my 30 minutes, I can talk to you about something, because I love to talk. Look how fat my face is. Look at it. Ooh, so chunky, chunky, chunky. But um, I'll get the weight off um, eventually. It won't be as easy as it used to be when I was in my OMG's 30s and 40s. Because I'm 53 now, so. But I'll do what I can. So, yeah, I just wanted to really pretty much say hi. Tell about my North Carolina life. Like I said, which is boring. That's all it consists of. Before I end the video, I was trying to think of something that I may do since I've been down here that may be exciting. But, um, no, I can't think of anything. But there are a lot of things that's different. You know something I noticed that's different here? Of course we know New York City. Yes, yes, I am a statist. Of course we know New York City has a lot of great things. And so does North Carolina, I'm sure. But, like, um, thrift shopping down here. Goodwill um, in New York, you can go to a Goodwill and get a lot of designer things. And not that designers, um, designer clothes are better than any others, but um, if you can go to a thrift shop and get, say, a BCB dress for it, even if it's $12, that's great. Down here, um, you don't have a very large selection when you go thrift shopping. If you're small and tiny, you, you will. But if you are um, growing in size like I am, because I want to get some jeans and I do want to pay a lot of money, um, yeah, you don't really find much of anything. 
to a thrift shop and I find to be a little bit different because again in New York you can go from one goodwill to the next goodwill to the next goodwill to the next goodwill and my mother's well in New Bern there's a goodwill which is not really a goodwill it's, I, I don't know the name of it exactly but it's GCF it's not really goodwill and then you have a Salvation Army and that's it mm -hmm. and they have some nice things but only for tiny little people you know, I guess here in the little towns, you know, they don't have such a large abundance of clothes like in New York. You know, we have a lot of used clothes in New York. Yeah, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. And food shopping? Oh, okay. Food shopping down here? You could spend a lot of money and still not have much of anything. I mean, like, sales are different. Like in New York, let's say, for instance, um, hmm. Every now and then, I think once since I've been here, I've seen it. Like, you can get 10 boxes of pasta for $10. And in New York, I would see that kind of often. I think I've seen that once since I've been here. And sometimes you can see something like um, three jars of spaghetti sauce for $5. Or um, some supermarkets, you may even see three dozen of eggs for $5. Stuff like that in New York. Like, here, I don't see that, especially like with Walmart. I don't, I guess Walmart can have cheaper prices, but they don't have sales. Their rollbacks may be like, what? 50 cent off i don't know it could be more but i think once i let me see yeah once i got some ground beef on rollback and it was a dollar less than the regular price so that wasn't bad but i find that food shopping here you spend a lot of money because they don't have deep sales like that to me like um some cakes we buy here if the regular price is a dollar 79 they may be a dollar 59 and warm okay that's good but why not sometimes have those cakes um like 50, 60, 70 cent off sometimes? I don't know. To me, Walmart is not all that it can be. I'll put it that way. They have some great prices, but they don't have good sales. How does that sound? Now, that's just me. And if you work for Walmart, you should work on that. If you like in an executive marketing area or whatever, they you know, do the pricing and such like that. But I like the store because they have everything you need. I mean, when I first got down here to go into the store, you can get food, clothes, a TV, a laptop, um, lawn furniture, and all that one-stop shop, all in your cart. That, that just tripped me out. So I like Walmart for that reason because you don't have to run all over town. But, um, yeah, sometimes you just need to do other things too because Walmart is not always the absolute best place to shop that's just me but i'll get into that more but i'm just trying to think of some other things that i observed since i've been here um yeah that's pretty much it like i said my north carolina life and me kind of boring but i just really want to talk to you guys so i just came up with that because <laughs> it's not like i'm doing anything exciting but at least you guys know that i'm still here walking on this earth which is the most important thing um, and I just really wanted to say hi and let you guys know I'm still here in North Carolina. So this is just me and my North Carolina life. And I just want to say to you guys, thank you so much for the love and support. I'm still here. And I'll do my best to be back even sooner than I was the last time. So it won't be like four, five, six months in between. Um, since I got a spot, because like I'm just sitting right here in the den. So if... um. I feel like I need to talk. I'll just sit right here, turn on that light, and make sure my um, cell phone is charged. How's that? But listen, people, I am going to um, end this video because I want to watch Underground. I taped it, and I want to look at maybe the first 15, 20 minutes, and then I have to go to bed because I'm really tired. I'm off tomorrow. So... I'm going to try to get into something. What? I don't know. It may even just be sitting around in the house and not doing much of anything. But, um, nonetheless, I'm going to end the video. Yeah, because I'll keep rambling and rambling. So, I just want to say thank you for stopping by and watching this video. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next. And I want you to share and spread 